Hi there guys, today I wanted to talk about how we can apply some really really simple drumming concepts to our guitar. I have always loved playing the drums and if you follow this channel for a while you'll know that we do a lot of percussive things on this channel, a lot of uh, whether that's flamenco inspired or completely unique, things like uh, actually hitting the body of the guitar. That's not what we're talking about today, today we're talking about taking some rhythms or some musical concepts that are generally considered drum concepts and we're going to play them on our guitar. One song that I think I might use because I think pretty much everyone knows it is uh, We Will Rock You by Queen because the, the, the start of it is a boom boom cha, boom boom cha, boom boom cha. I'm sure 99% of you know that song. And what's happening there when it goes boom boom cha, it's essentially a bass drum for two, boom boom. So that boom sound is a bass drum, boom. And the cha is a snare sound, so a drummer has a snare drum. I've got here a cajon as well, so the middle of the cajon, boom. Something like that, you get the point. Or on the, um, sometimes it's like a football stadium, you go boom, boom, cha, boom, boom, cha. So step, step, clap. Anyway, I think you get the point, the bass and the snare. Now what we're actually going to do is pick up our guitar and apply that very simple concept to some guitar stuff. And obviously you can use these things I'm going to teach you. You can use them with any rhythm you want, or any drum beat inspired rhythm you want. I just chose We Will Rock You as the cornerstone of this lesson because I think everyone knows it. So a simple one, I might take an E chord and I might go part with, I'll use a palm mute this time. So I'm going to go. So it's very much a guitar riff that I'm playing, even though it's only one chord, but no doubt you can hear boom, boom, cha. Now that's a very drummy rhythm. It's not such a guitar rhythm, you know, when we strum and stuff like that. That's a very drum based rhythm. In that case, I was using the palm mute, so I was going mute, mute, hit, mute, mute, hit. Another really good one that I like to do sometimes is, uh, so you might use the bass. I'm using a pick, but you don't have to use a pick. It's totally optional. So you can, sometimes what I'll do is divide the three low notes of the guitar and the three high notes of the guitar. And I'll go. And you can do things like that. Obviously, you can make up your own rhythms, and I strongly encourage you to make up your rhythms. So I'm just keeping it super simple to get the concept across, and then of course, pick up your guitar, and get crazy. So make a boom cha, boom boom cha, boom cha, boom cha, boom cha. So that's the kind of thing you can do. Also, I'll sometimes use my two E strings. That kind of thing. So look, it's a really simple concept and I'm actually not going to really talk much longer because I think I've explained it. Although I'll show you another couple little things. Um, one of the things I like, as I said, divide the low strings as like a bass drum sound or the bass side of things and the high strings as the snare or high side of things. So I might do an A minor chord, just five, five, five on the top three strings. That'd be like my snare sound. Okay. I think you get the point. I hope that was useful for somebody out there. Let me know in the comments if you were able to apply this to your playing. Please let me know if I explained it properly or if I explained it well, if I was too fast or too slow. And just let me know how you're going with your playing. I do read the comments. I love hearing from you guys. Some of you have been commenting now for years that I'm really excited to follow your progress. Some of the viewers of this channel I've ended up meeting in real life. Um, some of them have come to Cal Hedda concerts both here in Australia and in Europe, which is just insanely exciting and cool. So maybe we'll meet in real life, especially post COVID. And maybe we'll meet in the comments section, but I thank you very much and good luck playing your guitar. Thank you.